Okay, the last features we have to deal with are the drillings here, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and select the cylinder of one of the holes. And then I'm going to right mouse button click, and here you're going to see a command called drilling, and then I can go to hole machining. Again, as a friendly reminder, of course, you can come up here to the 2D, 3D tab and choose the icon instead. Now, all of our drilling cycles are all located here, where it says kind of machining in the quick settings blue. And all you have to do is double click and choose what you want. For example, here, I want to start with the centering operation. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to go to my tool selection and we're going to build a spot drill. Maybe to begin with, with the spot drill, we're going to start with a 3 8 diameter spot drill, 90 degree tip, half inch of effective length. Again, I think you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and green check mark. And now I have my tool. We'll go ahead and hit head and set some speeds and feeds. Maybe I want this to be 5,500 RPM and 50 inches a minute. And then for everything else, I'm going to use the quick settings balloon. For example, I know that this is a quarter inch diameter through hole. Okay, that's what the quick settings balloon is showing me here. I want to leave a little chamfer when I'm done. So what I'm going to do is come down to my print diameter here, double left mouse button click. I'm going to say, you know what, that's 250. I'm going to set this to 5 16 then I'm going to leave a nice chamfer there. Finally, I want to get all the other holes as well. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and choose under geometry, search. And this is going to find every other hole that's the same. Now here it wants me to, to see if we want to check for partial cylinders. That's in case you wanted to drill out corners of pockets like this. I'm going to say no. And like that, Top Solid has found all the other holes. Kind of nice. The only thing I'm concerned about here is, again, these rapid planes. These rapid planes are way high. It's a lot of wasted time. So I'm going to go into settings, and I'm going to activate a little bit of optimization. I'm going to go to my altitudes tab and turn on check collisions. What check collisions is going to do is it's going to put the tool down on the pocket, keep it there, keep the rapid plane down there, and only pick up if a collision is detected. Kind of cool and ultra efficient. Beyond that, I'm just going to click OK, and like that, my tipping operation is now complete.